Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with Outlook not starting. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to fix the issue with Microsoft's Office program not starting in Windows 10. Now, this is particularly relevant for those of you that are watching on the 15th of July 2020. It seems there has been an update which has caused Outlook to basically brick itself and will no longer open. It's still possible to open Outlook using the safe mode extension, but unfortunately, a lot of people are falling foul of this one, and it seems to be something to do with an update in the background for either Office or for Windows. I'm not entirely sure quite yet. There are still many support calls out to Microsoft. But at the moment, there is a workaround, and that is to roll back parts of Office. Now, we'll go to the computer, and I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll come back after and discuss it a little bit more in depth. Also, you should realize that this doesn't fix all problems. This is mostly to do with the recent Windows update, but looking at the computer, you can see where the problems have been caused and one of the error codes. So let's go to the computer, and we'll take a closer look. So we're on our Windows desktop, and if we just try and open Outlook, and click on Outlook, It'll start opening and it'll go through and it'll stay open for a few seconds and then it closes down again. So just so you can see that again. So open up, look. And even less time. And it seems to be to do with a particular file that is a problem. So one way around it is you can type in outlook.exe forward slash safe. Now, if you do this, this opens Outlook in safe mode. It's still usable, but it isn't very pretty. And uh, it, yeah, it's a little bit clunky. So that's really a last ditch resort. The easiest way is to actually fix it. Now to find out what the problem is, we right click on the start bar and then choose event viewer. And in event viewer, go to Windows logs and expand that and then choose application. Now, as you can see, there's our previous two attempts at opening up Office or at least Outlook and we've got two error messages and both of them will be related very similar and the fault code or the exception code is 0xc0000005 and we've got the same again here 0xc0005 outlook.exe now in some cases you may find that it'll actually tell you in the details section which file it is affecting on a previous version i tried on another computer which is having the same problem it did give me the particular file which was done that a dynamic link library. So it doesn't seem to have any real rhyme or reason what files it is actually affecting, but it still comes out with that same error code. So if you're having the fault code like I am, 0xc0005, this is definitely a uh, potential fix for you. So let's close down that, and I've actually put all the details in a notepad, and the full instructions. I'll copy and paste this into the video description so you can follow along for yourself. But essentially what you need to do is open up the command prompt. So at the bottom, type in CMD and right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. You'll get the user account control message come up and we'll click on yes. And then all you can do is you have to actually change the directory to the uh, click and run for Microsoft Office. So copy that, control V, paste that in. So that's what we're doing. Change directory to program files, common files, Microsoft shared, click to run. Hit enter. And now we see we've changed into that directory. And now what we need to do is to, you can either type it in or copy and paste it. And this is basically the previous version. And again, control V, paste that in there. So that's uh, office c2rcclient.exe space forward slash update space user space update to version and then it's got the version number there and then press enter and this will start the microsoft updates and basically you can just sit down there so although it says it's downloading office updates what it's actually doing is because the command we put in there is actually putting in a specific version as we put there is version 16.0.12827.0 Two zero four seven zero sounds like something out of Star Trek. But anyway, let this carry on doing its thing. It'll download the previous version and do some updates in the background. After it's finished that, you can close down all the windows and also the command prompt, and hopefully Office should start up. 
So we'll leave this current on and we'll come back to it when it's finished. Okay, so that's finished, didn't take a very long at all. And uh, so we can close down this window, close down this one as well. So now we can hopefully click on start and go to Outlook and it should work first time. You may need to restart your computer, but uh, possibly you won't have to. So let's give that a try. And there we go. That seems to be working and is stable. And we've got the Microsoft update saying Microsoft updates were installed. Your Office updates have now been installed. You can now use your Office apps now. So that's all good. So yep, it's all working as it should be. No problems at all and uh, completely stable, which is much better than what it was previously. So there you go. There's a quick and simple fix on how to get your Office program, specifically in this particular case, the Outlook program. It may well affect other apps as well. Uh, we're yet to see this is a very new problem and it's literally just happened uh, about an hour or so ago to a lot of people all around the globe. So I figured I'd make this video quickly just so that you can get some of you out of the mire and hopefully get yourselves back to work. For those of you that are working from home, this is going to be exceptionally traumatic, I'd imagine. So uh, hopefully this sorts out your problem. If it does sort your problem, don't forget to drop a like on the video and let us know in the comments section that it's helped you. We really do appreciate all that kind of stuff. Also, if you want to show support for the channel, you can go over to patreon.com and pick yourself up a Mike's Unboxing pen or a lovely Mike's Unboxing t-shirt or spoil yourself and get both. Anyway, that wraps things up for this video. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.